Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to be showing you advanced emulsion technology to create high internal phase emulsions. High internal phase emulsions are water in oil emulsions that actually have a very elegant and captivating sensory profile. While they are water in oil emulsions, which would normally mean the oil continuous phase would make up the majority of the formula, the formulations I'll be creating today and the materials I'll be working with enable you to create water and oil emulsions with more than 80% water phase materials. This means that when the product is first applied, it has a quick break sensory feeling. It's a lovely light and refreshing sensation on application that instantly wows your consumer. It then has a very cushiony rub out time and finally a beautifully dry but silky afterfill so the skin does not feel greasy even though it is a water and oil emulsion. There are some key advantages to creating these types of emulsions. The first is because the majority is water phase they are relatively cheap to create. It also means you can put a high water-based active loading into these formulations without impacting their stability. So you're creating cost-effective yet highly effective emulsions for your target market. Because these are water and oil emulsions, they also have clinically proven moisture protection properties. This means they provide advanced protection against transepidermal water loss for the best skin benefit and hydration results. Finally, the tri-phase feeling on application, during rub out and after application means you're captivating your consumer from start throughout use and then after prolonged use with the extended hydration that these formulations provide. I'll be showing you both a silicon based formulation today and a non-silicon based formulation today using specialty materials that enable these advanced emulsions to form. Let's get started. The first high internal phase emulsion I'm going to create is a product using silicon derived materials, specifically Grand Surf 2106. Uh, now this is a very necessary material in this formulation. It's actually a self emulsifying elastomer gel. And this self emulsifying elastomer gel enables a network to form throughout the oil continuous phase to stabilize the water droplets. This is an essential material to create this type of high internal phase emulsion. And it comes as a gel polymer form. I'm combining this with Grand Surf 67, which is a water and oil emulsifier, which is going to help stabilize this emulsion. Now to create this emulsion, I've simply uh, combined the oil phase materials and the water phase materials. Now you'll notice straight away there is a dramatic proportion, dramatically large proportion of the water phase materials, over 80% water phase, over 80% internal phase is going to be stabilized by this very small continuous phase. So again, the Grand Surf materials I've mentioned are crucial to form this type of emulsion. Before I get started with the mixing, I just want to point out the water phase is gelled using a simple carbon material. You can see the gel formation and this carbamate is neutralized to form the gel. Now this is very important when creating these type of emulsions because you are actually stabilizing a gelled water phase throughout the oil continuous network. And then all we need to do is combine the two phases. So first I have my uh, lipid phase here. This is the Grand Surf 2106, Grand Surf 67 and some standard lipids. And I'm mixing this to ensure it's a homogeneous mixture before continuing. Then to this 
under low shear I am going to add my gelled water phase. And that's all there is to it. You've now created a beautifully thick, creamy looking water and oil emulsion that rubs in easily with that beautiful tri-phase skin feel. A cold process formulation using specialized materials to enable you to create water and oil emulsions with over 80% water phase and all the benefits of a water and oil emulsion, including clinically proven transepidermal water loss protection from such a high water input with absolutely no greasy residue after application. Now let's take a look at a high internal phase emulsion using non-silicon derived materials. And in this case, I'm going to be again creating a high internal phase emulsion with, in this case, over 85% water phase using a sepic material. Again, it's a polymeric material that will enable a very small amount of continuous phase to stabilize a very big internal phase. And this is sepic easy Nov with my lipid materials. And this is my water phase. Again, you'll see there is a dramatically large proportion of water phase compared to my oil phase. And in this case, I've again gelled my water phase using Sepinov EM10. And it's another very crucial formulation element of these formulas that not only you're using the oil compatible polymeric materials I'm mentioning in this video, they're very crucial to create this type of emulsion, but you also need to gel your water phase because you are really uh, capturing the gelled water phase in very large gelled water droplets within a very uh, small continuous oil polymeric phase. Here's a diagram of how it looks. Now, let's put this sample together. And again, it's as simple as combining the gelled water phase into the oil phase under low shear. We don't want to break up those gelled water droplets. So we need to use low shear so that we maintain the water gelled structure within the continuous oil phase. And again, there you have it. It really is that easy to create a beautiful water in oil, high internal phase emulsion with that exceptional sensory profile. Again, cold process. So you're saving on raw material inputs with that high internal water phase and you're saving on manufacturing time with cold process manufacturing. You're still getting all of those skin hydration benefits of your water and oil phase emulsions with no greasy residue. So now, just to recap, the key elements when creating a high internal phase emulsion. The first is that you need to make sure you're using a suitable oil compatible polymeric material that will enable a high internal phase emulsion to form. There's not many out there and in this video I've shown you two of my favourites. The second very crucial element is to gel your water phase. 
So you need to create your gelled water phase first and then add this slowly under low shear to your oil phase. It's really important you get this step right because you need to maintain those big gelled water droplets throughout your small continuous oil phase. And again, you need to make sure you're using the very specific high internal phase polymeric oil compatible materials I've mentioned in this video, otherwise you won't be able to create this special type of emulsion. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on high internal phase emulsions today. It is an advanced emulsion technology that we're seeing more of in the marketplace because of the benefits that water and oil emulsions can bring to the skin, particularly protecting transepidermal water loss. And these emulsions enable you to create those skin-tastic benefits without greasy residue. Happy formulating!